A pleasant afternoon everyone. Today we will present our group on alternative energy resources, which is nuclear energy. So what is nuclear energy? A nuclear energy is a form of energy that, that comes from the splitting or combination of particles in the atom. A nucleus of an atom contains a large amount of energy that may produce a large amount of electricity. But there is a process before can create electricity. This process is called fission. A fission can generate a uh, heat to produce a steam, which is used to turbine generator to generate electricity. So, yung fission daw, ito yung nagbibigay init. So, pansin nyo naman yung nuclear energy pag may lumalabas na parang init sa taas ng parang may konting usok. Yun daw yung steam niya. Kaya, ito yung process para magbigay ng electricity electricity yung para mag-generate siya and there are two types of nuclear energy first is nuclear fusion second is nuclear fission so let's proceed in the next center to to know what is nuclear fission and fusion nuclear fission nuclear fission is the process of splitting a nucleus into two nuclei with smaller masses um, fission means to divide remember that fission has two ss therefore it split into two parts so nuclear fission is a nuclear reaction or a radioactive decay process in which the nucleus of an atom split into two or more smaller lighter nuclei the fission process often um, produces gamma photons and releases a very large amount of energy even by the energetic standards of radioactive decay. Um, nuclear fusion Nuclear fusion is the combining of two nuclei with low masses to form one nucleus of larger masses. And it is the nuclear process where energy is produced by smashing together light atoms. It is the opposite reaction of fission because fusion can release more energy than fission. Where heavy, where heavy isotopes are split apart, fusion is the process by which the sun and other stars generate light and heat. It's most easily achieved on Earth by combining two isotopes of hydrogen, deuterium and tritium. Hydrogen is the lightest of all the elements, being made out of a single proton and electron. Deuterium has an extra neutron in its nucleus. It can replace one of the hydrogen atoms in H2O to make what is called heavy water. Tritium has two extra neutrons and is thereof three times as heavy as hydrogen. In a fusion cycle, tritium and deuterium are combined result in the formation of helium. And fusion doesn't emit harmful toxins like carbon dioxide or other greenhouses gases into the atmosphere. Its major byproduct is helium, an inert non-toxic gas, no long-lived radioactive waste. Nuclear fusion reactors produce no high-activity long-lived nuclear waste. How is nuclear fusion energy produced? Nuclear fusion is a nuclear reaction or radioactive decay process in which, which the nucleus of an atom splits into two or smaller lighter nuclei. The fission process can produce gamma photons and release a very large amount of energy. How much energy is produced? Nuclear power is an extremely rich energy source. Because of the nuclear power, plants are producing maximum power more than 93% of the time during the year. So, kaya, nga, kaya mayaman yung energy source ng nuclear one and one gram of uranium 235 delivers as much energy metric tons of coal so ang equivalent ng one kilogram of uranium is approximately equivalent of 
out to 126 gallons of oil, 1 ton of coal, or 17,000 cubic feet of natural gas. And one in every five houses in the U.S. is supplied with nuclear energy. Nuclear energy must be harnessed if used to make energy. Nuclear reaction in a nuclear power plant secure at a controlled, manageable pace and reduce energy slowly. Dito, um, yung power plant ay lumalabas ng energy slowly. Heat generated and used to boil water, creating steam, and steam turns to turbines, which rotate electric generator, creating electricity. Dito, um, yung power plant na yun, uh, may mga process. And yung process na yun, uh, pag uh, na-create na, yung electricity ay pumupunta na po sa mga bahay-bahay. Steam is released from the cooling uh, tower. How does nuclear power plants work? After the initial reaction, the energy that takes from form of heat, it used to heat water. The water then begins to boil and produce steam that turns a turbine. When the turbine turns, a generator does as well and this creates our electricity. You can see this dito sa picture kung ano po yung process. And if the nuclear reaction can't control, the main concern over the use of nuclear energy is the risk of radiation. Accidents at nuclear power plants can release harmful radiations that endangers people and other living things. Even without accidents, the used fuel that is left after nuclear fission reactions is still radioactive. And the only way to control or stop a nuclear chain reaction is to stop the neutrons from splitting more atoms. Controlled rods made of a neutron absorbing elements such as boron reduce the number of free neutrons and take them out of the reaction. In that case, the chain reaction stops. Chain reaction, an ongoing series of fission reactions. Millions of reactions occur each second in a chain reaction. Chain reaction is a process in which neutrons released in fission produce an additional fission in at least one further nucleus. This nucleus in turn produces neutrons and the process repeats. The process may be controlled or uncontrolled. If we say controlled in a nuclear reactor, such chain reaction can provide power for the society's benefits, or the what we call nuclear power, if uncontrolled, as in the case of the so-called atomic bomb or nuclear weapon. Advantage of nuclear energy. These are the possible advantages when we build or use nuclear power plant in our country. First, nuclear plants bring jobs and prosperity to a country. Nuclear power provides many benefits to the economy with the number of jobs and prosperity a new plant brings. According to NEI or Nuclear Energy Institute, a new nuclear plant creates 400 to 700 permanent jobs and also thousands of others during its construction. Next, provides the world with the most of its electricity. Based on what I've read from the Office of Nuclear Energy, Nuclear energy has by far the highest capacity factor of any other energy source. This basically means nuclear power plants are producing maximum powers more than 93% of the time during the year. That's about 1.5 to 2 times more as natural gas or coal units and 2.5 to 3.5 times more reliable than wind and solar plants. Next, nuclear energy is good for economy. Like what I've said on the first advantage, it can provide job opportunities. And during the time of our former president, Ferdinand Marcos, because of electricity shortage, 
he believed that it is the solution to meet the country's energy demands and to increase electricity supply. Unfortunately, it was multiple due to safety concerns and issues regarding corruption. Next, generating electricity from nuclear power causes little pollution. The overall output pollution from nuclear power plant quite low compared with energy production from fossil fuels. Nuclear energy is considered by some as an ecological energy in the sense that producing electricity with nuclear fission does not emit or almost no carbon dioxide or fine particles which are responsible for global warming and air pollution. Next, lots of energy is produced from a small amount of uranium. Uranium is a heavy metal which has been used as an abundant source of concentrated energy from over 60 years. Through chain reaction, a very large amount of heat is produced from a relatively small amount of uranium. And lastly, does not emit carbon dioxide greenhouse effect. Nuclear is a zero emission clean energy source. It keeps the air clean by removing thousands of tons of harmful air pollutants each year. This reduction in greenhouse gases is a great indicator of how switching to nuclear energy can help reduce our effect on global climate change in a long run. Are the disadvantages of nuclear energy? First is the environmental impact. One of the biggest issues is the environmental impact in relation to uranium. The process of mining and refining uranium hasn't been clean. Actually, Transporting nuclear fuel to and from plants involves a pollution hazard. Also, once the fuel is used, you can simply take it to the landfill. It's radioactive and dangerous. Second one is the radioactive waste disposal. As a rule, a nuclear power plant creates 20 metric tons of nuclear fuel per year, and with that, comes a lot of nuclear waste. When you consider each nuclear plant on Earth, you will find that number jumps to approximately 2,000 metric tons a year, and that is a large number. The greater part of this waste transmits radiation and high temperature, implying that it will inevitably consume any compartment that holds it. It can also cause damage to living things and in around the plants. Nuclear power plants create a lot of low-level radioactive waste as transmitted parts and supplies. Over time, use nuclear fuel decays to save radioactive levels. However, it takes a countless levels of safety. So, um, nakasaad dito na isa sa mga disadvantages ng nuclear energy is nagkakaroon ito ng isang radioactive waste na kung saan um, nagkakaroon ng um, pagkakataon na makasira sa mga um, living things, sa mga bagay na may buhay around doon sa um, nuclear power plant na kung saan uh, may mga tao, may mga kabahayan, may mga may mga puno na maaaring masira kapag, kapag um, nagkaroon ng um, access itong nuclear power plants through nuclear energy. So the third one is the nuclear accidents. So the accident in Three Mile Island in 1979, the Chernobyl accident that occurred on 26th of April 1986, at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine was the worst nuclear accident in history. Then there was another accident that happened recently in Fukushima in Japan in 2011. Although the casualties were not that high, it caused serious environmental concerns. Its harmful effects on humans and ecology can still be seen today. So talagang uh, isa sa mga disadvantages talaga having this nuclear energy um, na magpapatayo ng nuclear power plant is destroying the environment and also harm um, um, having any harm, harmful effects to human beings. 
so next is the high cost so one of the disadvantages is the high cost why because um, a recent virtual test re um, reactor in the u.s estimate rose 3.5 billion to 6 billion alongside huge extra cost to maintain the facility so south africa scrap plans to add 9.6 gw of nuclear power to its energy mixed due to the cost which was estimated anywhere between 34 to 84 billion so malaki yung nagagamit na pera na kung saan pwede itong gamitin sa iba pang uh, pwedeng source na kung saan makakatulong sa ating environment next is the hot target for militants nuclear energy has immersed power today nuclear energy is used to make weapons so ginagamit ito um, upang gumawa ng mga weapons if these weapons go into the wrong hands especially to the people na merong um, what they call this na merong um, pagbabanta or merong gustong mangyaring hindi maganda sa kanilang lugar so that could be the end of this world hindi ba so one of the disadvantages talaga nuclear power plants are a prime target for terrorism activities this little lacks in security can be brutal for for humankind so um uh, and, and lastly is the uranium is finite typical re renewable energy sources such as solar and wind are infinite supply so nuclear energy is not a renewable fuel source so just like other source of fuel uranium is also finite and exists in a few of the countries so uranium is in limited supply although currently abundant there is still the risk of running out eventually so uranium has to be mined, synthesized, then activated to produce energy. And it's very expensive to go through this process. It's produced a, a considerable amount of waste during all these activities and can result in environmental contamination and serious health effects if not handled properly. So um, that concludes the disadvantages of having nuclear energy and putting a nuclear um, power plant so um, before we go to the conclusion of this report um, may i um, discuss to you one of the um, biggest what do you call this biggest news uh, in the philippines um, on the said um, 1986 year which is the regime of the late Ferdinand Marcos who is the president of that time so um, gusto nilang gumawa ng isang nuclear power plant sa Pilipinas which is nangyari nga and this is what we called the Bataan nuclear power plant so it is completed naayos siya, complete siya but never fueled bakit? Kasi there's so many um, controversies behind that nuclear power plant here in the Philippines. So, the project was plagued with problems throughout construction including location. It is located at the Morong Bataan. So, um, including the welding, the cabling, the pipes and the bulbs permits the kickbacks as well as sitbacks such as the decline of Marcos influence and the incidents at the Three My Island nuclear reactor. So, um, nagkaroon ng argument dito kaya hindi siya natuloy because of some reasons na may mga naunang nuclear power plant sa ibang bansa na nag-failed. So, parang ang nangyari um, na natakot sila na ituloy ito dahil baka ito ay mag-fail din. At saka isa pang reason dito is nangyari nga yung 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 pangyayari na which is yung nagkaroon ng um what do you call this pag pag aklas or pag pag, pag uh, ano na i-impeach or alisin sa preso si President Ferdinand Marcos that that day which is what we call the People Power Revolution in February 1986. 
So isa ito sa rason kung bakit hindi na nataloy yung yung ay uh, yung um, bataan nuclear power plant. And yun nga as the as the disadvantages nga maraming ma, ma, maraming madadamay or maraming mangyayaring hindi maganda kung natuloy ito. Yun nga yung number one is yung radioactive waste na kung saan syempre maaapektuhan tayong mga tao or mga Pilipino na nakatira sa Pilipinas. Syempre actually at um, especially yung mga malalapit doon sa lugar na yon na kung saan na kung saan nandoon yung Bataan Nuclear Power Plant kasi the project was criticized for being a potential threat to the public health especially since the plant was located in an earthquake zone connected to Mount Native a caldera volcano similar to Mount Pinatubo and then according to the US Geological Survey National Earthquake Information Center several earthquakes have occurred on Mount Native from 1951 to 2016 so kaya natakot din sila na i-rehabilitate yung plant na yon na ituloy na kahit na ito ay nakatayo na um, since then 1986 kasi nga malaki talaga yung impact nito upang um, mag- maging threat sa public health natin especially dun sa mga malalapit doon and then lastly um, we therefore conclude that we have learned all small part of this idea Um, on all about the nuclear energy but we understood how we can be dangerous we have to be more careful using nuclear power um, our potential is very great we have a very smart scientists which can design a best defense for um, bad pollution nuclear energy has a future and lastly Nuclear energy is one of the important energy alternatives. What gives nuclear an advantage? It is past record, safety features, and economical promise for the future. Energy should be taken seriously and educated. For our energy sources should not be limited to the school system but be shared with the city or 